hello guys welcome back to good show tips and in this video we're gonna talk about how to fix crisis core final fantasy 7 is having reunion error and how we can fix this up so this is what we are going to do and many of the users are having troubles like you know a crashing issue black screen not launching freezing and stuttering then uh, you know low fps drop stuck on loading screen and um, uh, many issues even not launching and or wouldn't launch issues and many issues are happening so how we can fix this so that's what we are going to talk about in this video so let me directly get into this so the first one when you're having this issue all you have to do is you just have to do a normal restart for that you just have to go over here in the start now from here click over here and go to restart after doing a restart try to play the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed you can try this as a basic step this is not going to work for sure but they can try this out because some steps including the restart has worked for some users so that is why i am saying we can try this moving to the next one is all about you have to allow the game to windows security for that you just have to go over here on the search click over here on control panel go over here now from here navigate to windows defender firewall now from here on the left navigate to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now from here over here as you can see here i have already added the game i'll sc scroll down and i'll show you guys as you can see the crisis uh, core final fantasy 7 reunion is already added here so as you can see that it is already added so uh, we have to make sure when it is added both the boxes that is private and public should be checked this is quite important as well both the uh, boxes should be checked and imagine if it is not added what you can do if it is not added we need to add it so how to add it so go for hello another app now go to browse from here you can go to this pc so here the game is installed so by default when you are trying to install the game on uh, from uh, my steam the game get downloaded and installed on local disk c by default so imagine that you're having multiple disk so imagine that you're having multiple disk then most probably you it will be in any other game if you made it so but default it will be on local disk c so what you have to do is you just have to uh, go for local to see and navigate to where the game is installed so you just have to navigate to there so the game will be installed on local to see so i'll be showing you the path so here uh, just click on add sorry i think something dropped. so click on browse and now from here go to this pc so this is this pc so open local to see where the game is installed open this now scroll down and navigate to program file x86 now from here scroll down and navigate to steam you just have to scroll down and navigate to steam now from here scroll down and navigate to steam apps now from here go to common over here as you can see we are having the folder ccff7r open this go to ccff7r now go to binaries go to win64 and select this one and go for add so once it is added you just have to click on add but here as you can see i got the error message because it's already added so this is what you have to do after adding this successfully try to launch the game going back to the steam and you can try whether it's going to work or not and if it's not then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to install graphics card manually for installing the graphics card so i need to provide you few links so i'll be giving from the existing video which we uploaded very recently so i forgot to give the link over here but i'll be showing you that you don't have to worry so what you have to do is i'll be providing link for both nvidia as well as for the amd i'll be providing the link so you don't have to worry so this is the nvidia and this is the amd and this is for microsoft visual c plus plus so over here in the nvidia what you have to do is when you land on this page you have to go and click on drivers so that will take you to this here you have to give complete details that is product type geoforce product series you have to give product operating system download type etc so you have to give this windows 11 because windows 11 is what it is needed so once it is done go for start search over here as you can see the version is 527.56 which is released on 2012 12.8 that means on 8th december it has released it. so the latest version download this particular one and install it simultaneously if you're on the amd just go over here select the respective model for the amd go for submit and you'll be getting two options that is windows 11 and windows 10 over here on windows 11 download this one and for windows 10 download this one and this is what you have to download and install the respective one and when you download and install this most probably 
that is also going to work for it. so this is the step so in you are updating the graphics card manually so this will be fixing most cases the issue but if it's not fixing then we just have to move to the next one that is all about you have to install microsoft visual c plus plus so over here this is what going to take you out so i'll be search once again you just have to i'll be providing the correct uh link in the description so you don't have to worry so go to this link when you go to this link you will be able to see like this so here there are a few options x64 x86 and arm x64 so you need to know which one is your pc is actually that means you need to know the configuration for that you just have to go to settings now from here select system on the left now scroll down and navigate to about over here you will be able to know you are on 64 bit operating system so this is very important if you download 84 it will not be working so you have to select 64 bit operating system once it is done you just have to download this after downloading install the .txt after installing the .txt restart your pc then go back to the steam try to launch the game and see whether it's going to work or not and if it's not working do not worry we have to move to the next one that is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that just go over here in the search and you have to search graphic setting search for graphic setting so that that will take you to this over here as you can see these already all these games are added over here so it is not added so you just have to click on browse now from here you just have to go to this pc now go to local disk c now from here scroll down and navigate to program file x86 now scroll down and navigate to over here you have to navigate to steam folder now from here go to steam apps now from here go to steam apps select common now from here select ccff7r now go over here on see this one binaries select the respective folder and add it once it is added it is very important as well you have to change the option go over here and change this to high performance and save it after saving it you have to try to play the game and most probably this will be working good and if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one that is all about you have to run the game as an administrator for that you just have to go over here on the game now you just have to navigate to the installation folder from here so it is very easily you can do it from the steam right click and go to properties go to local file click on browse so now as you can see this is where the game is installed so you just have to open this particular folder now over here as you can see right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok after going to this try to launch the game and that is going to work good if it's not working then you just have to launch the game or you have to run the game from the installation folder that is also working for some of you guys so you can do that for that you just have to go over here as you can see do the same you just have to go to properties go to local files and go to browse now from here this is the installation folder go over here select this particular folder launch the game from here itself should not be launch the game from steam launch the game from here itself and that is going to help you guys as well moving to the next one is all about you have to delete the save game file for that when you're doing this you'll be losing all the progression so go to over here on file explorer go to this pc now go to documents and from here you have to delete the game so deleting the game will be helping guys out you have to delete the uh, folder just delete the folder so keep in mind when you do this you will be losing everything which you have played so far so you have to try with this moving to the next one is all about you have to uh, do is you just have to disable steam overlay and overclocking applications so disabling steam overlay just go over here select the game right click and go to properties now over here as you can see under general enable the steam overlay is there you have to uncheck this this is very important so once it is done this is about disabling overlay but you have to uh, close every overclocking applications for that they are like discord etc discord antivirus etc are which is draining out your performance so for that you just have to go over here in the start now from here go to task manager now from here as you can see it is vitally visible that i'm running few things with these run these things are i'm using right now but apart from that if you check the background process around 77 apps are running in my background so this is one of the hardest and baddest thing so what you have to do is they all are draining out my performance and that is why i'm having the issue so here the thing is if i'm uh, my pc so which is i'm using right now is having 32 gb of ram so i'm not having an issue with it but the uh, people who are trying to play the game with 2 GB, you know, they will be having the nightmare. So what they have to do, just have to eject it. You have to go for end the task. Everything you have to do, do everything you have to end the task, especially Discord, gaming services, etc. Do everything. This is going to take a bit of time. But once you've done this, you know, it is going to worth a lot. So you just have to try this. Okay. Try everything. And once it is successfully done, 
what you have to do is once you successfully done with everything close everything do a restart then try to play the game and that is going to work as well moving to the next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot for that just go over here in the search and you have to search for system configuration and from here you just have to go to services over here you have to select hide all microsoft services you have to select this now the disable option will be there because i tried this that is why it's not there you have to disable it go for apply go for ok then try to do a restart when you do this you'll be getting an option to restart restart your pc or laptop which is very important after restarting your thing just launch the game from the steam once again and that will be working good as well Moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file. This is very important because verify integrity of game file fixes many issues like if any files are missed, if any files are uh, corrupted and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular end. So just go over here right click and go to properties, go to local file and click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time. So you just have to wait for it. Once you're done with this, try to launch the game and that is going to help you guys well. So this is very important because all the issue regarding your files are corrupted, your files are missing, all this will be completely fixed and this is what you have to do. Moving to the next one is all about, you just have to update your windows. Let this, in the, uh, let this get completed in between. So for that, just go over here in the search, go to settings over here. Now from here, go to windows update. Now from here, what you have to do, you just have to click on retry so try to update into latest versions and they are asking something also you have to in my case this is a neglect this but you are be getting retry or download option just download and install it after installing this uh, the latest version try to launch the game because we should be in the latest version when the a game like this is running in our pc you should be we should be in the latest version of windows do the same moving to the next one is all about what we have to do is we just have to uh, disconnect multiple monitors usb devices etc which is already there so as you can see if right now when you're trying to launch the game you might be wishing to play the game with joystick uh, razor etc and all those things so you might be connected with uh, hot as wheels logitech etc so what you have to do is you just have to wait for it so when you launch the game uh, first eject everything from your usb multiple monitors everything should be ejected after ejecting launch the game then if you wanted to play the game with a controller then connect it back okay when you are launching the game avoid it when you're trying to play the, do the same and this is going to help you guys well moving to the next one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game for that you just have to go over here right click and go to manage and uninstall the game but keep in mind when you are reinstalling back it should be not in the same folder in the local disk which you already did as you can see if i'm installing back right now this is on local disk c but right now if i'm installing back in local disk c it is going to affect me again and again so imagine when you're having local disk d e f etc install the game to that particular local disk separately or parallelly and vice versa that is going to work for you as well should not be installing back on the same and this is what you have to do so this is very important step as well moving to the next one is all about you have to try giving the launch option that is dx11 dx12 in the launch option for that just go over here in the uh, steam and now from here select the game go to properties as you can see under general we are having launch option so here you have to try with dx11 first select dx11 and try to play the game if it's not working change this to dx12 then try to play the game and even if it's not working the next is all about what you have to do is so just have to remove everything okay when you give a command try to launch with the but giving the command to there and if it's not working the simultaneously remove everything then try to launch the game and that is also working for some of the users and you can try that and the next one is all about you have to roll back the drivers like i said you are installing on the latest versions will be working when you're having the issue but it should be uh, you know uh, rolling back the drivers for that just go away in the start go to device manager so go over here in the display adapters select the respective one which is yours right click and go to properties now from here go to driver now over here roll back the driver so when rolling back the driver if the device falls after updating the driver roll back drive previously installed driver will be fixing the issue and this is what you have to do and this is going to help you for sure so you have to uh, do the rollback driver will be also working and the last and the least one which i would like to make a notice is you have to try with increased virtual memory for that you just have to go over here search for view advanced system setting like this now you'll be getting an option like this so now you'll just go for advanced click on settings and now go to advanced and over here click on change and this is very important this particular thing automatically manage paging file size for all the drivers should be unchecked if you check this 
will not be able to select the drive. So you have to uncheck it and select the respective drive where the game is installed. In my case, it is local to C. So that's why I'm doing this. Once it is done, you just have to do is you just have to go for custom size. Now we have to give the value initial size, maximum size. So before that, we should know what is our configuration. So go to settings, select system, scroll down and navigate to about over here. As you can see, 32 GB is our RAM. So now I have to calculate, calcu I have to do calculation based on this. So go over here and select calculator. So now what I have to do is I have to convert 32 GB first. So 32 into 1024 is with the conversion. That is 32,768. Now I have to multiply this with 1.5. So that is 49,152. So I have to copy this and I have to paste this on initial size. Moving to the simultaneously, I have to go for the next one. That is, I have to multiply or do the conversion. That is 32 GB into 1024. So that's going to bring you 327, uh, 32768. So I have to multiply it with three times because maximum size is always three times the total RAM. So that is 98,304. Now I have to paste this. Once it is done with this, just go for OK, then try to launch the game and most probably they should be completely fixed. And these are the possible workaround which you have to try out when you are having an issue with Crisis Core, Final Fantasy 7 is having, Reunion is having, crashing, not launching, won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen, stuck on loading screen, etc. All these kind of issue and how you can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye bye.